City of Faith Ministry, based in London, England, presents Atmosphere of Faith with God's end time apostle of faith, Prophet Dr. Evans O'Pong. Great power, dynamic faith, prayer encounter, incredible miracles. It is your moment for supernatural visitation. Lift your expectation for divine manifestation. So faith is saying, let me just watch him. Another month is coming. My council tax is not paid. My children's fees is not sorted. My bills are not paid. My salary is very small. But let me just watch what he does. So Habakkuk chapter 2, he said, I will stand upon my watch and see what he says. So faith is saying, let God take the lead as I follow him. Why? I believe that he's the mountain breaker, the protocol breaker. He's the one when he moves, everybody bows. And he said, when I go before you, the mountains shall be leveled. So faith is saying, if I go before him, I will crash. But let the Lord go ahead of me. And that man that said no, he will say yes to God. Ay, 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 ay. Do you ever feel like you're doing life alone? That you just want a place to truly belong? A place to find encouragement when you're worn out? A place to receive healing when you're broken? A place to get help when you feel defeated? A place to find real connection, community, friendship? The church is God's way of connecting us, not only to himself, but to one another. Here we support one another through whatever life brings. So why not give it a chance? Come be with people who can relate, people who care. Because hope is here. Join us. Last week I started teaching one of the elements that makes grace function and I was teaching on faith I was teaching on faith somebody say faith somebody say faith so this morning I want to continue on the same series and you can caption it faith for exploit faith for exploit faith for exploit ladies and gentlemen you can't do much without faith you can't do much without faith every occurrence of a miracle in the kingdom of God is through faith the Bible says without faith is impossible without faith it's impossible so possibility is faith that means that everything a man wants to do in life can only be possible if you have faith. So faith is so powerful. It's a powerful weapon. Very simple but very mighty, very powerful. The Bible says that if your faith is like a master seed, you will say to this mountain, be thou removed and it shall be removed. If you have faith as tiny as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Be thou removed, and the mountain shall be removed. Now, the mountain is metaphorically difficult situations 
in our everyday life that means that when a person is confronted by challenges in the everyday life you can overcome it through faith somebody say faith and so your faith is what moves God time will not permit me to speak of the many instances in scripture when God has directed man's attention to faith a woman comes to Jesus to say my son is ill and Jesus said we don't give the food of the children to the dogs and the woman replied but when the dogs have eaten when the children have eaten the crumbs the dogs can eat and Jesus said what a great faith this woman has Matthew chapter 8 a centurion has come to Jesus crying for the sickness of a servant and how the servant can be healed and the Bible says that Jesus was caught up in a meeting so wouldn't be able to go immediately and Matthew chapter 8 from the verse number 8 and centurion then said to Jesus he said I'm a man of authority I say to this one goes and he goes I say to this one come and he comes so master only speak your word my servant will be well Jesus looked at him and said what a great faith what a great faith a woman who has been having the issue of the blood for years 12 years of bleeding non-stop the Bible says that by faith she said I don't even want the man of God to pray for me if only I may hold the hem of his garment I know my issue will be over and scripture says according to her faith as she held the hem of the garment of the preacher the Bible says and the blood ceased Jesus said who have touched me now in all these instances you begin to see faith in display faith at work so what is God's Word teaching us God's Word is teaching us that if we have faith in his word we will do what strength cannot do if we have faith in his word if we believe what he have said if we believe in the written word the spoken word then nothing shall be impossible if I bring it to everyday life when you have faith there are things that your resources will not be able to have but because of your faith God makes the heavens open the Bible says that with God all things are possible not with you not with me not with man but with God all things that means if it's going to be possible your faith must be in display I pray that your faith will increase glory to God so it's vital for us to know that every war in life can be overcome by your faith God wants you to do great things by faith John chapter 12 the Bible says that greater works will you do than I did that means that when we come to believe in God a new scripture is written Bible is written by the display of obedience and our faith in the Word of God so a person with faith nothing looks impossible before you come with me into the book of Hebrews chapter number 11 where we ended last week Hebrews chapter 11 and I read God's Word Hebrews chapter 11 Hebrews chapter 11 from the verse 32 he said and what shall I more say for the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak 
and of Samson and of Jephthah, of David also, and Samuel and of the prophets. Verse 33, who through faith subdued kingdoms. Somebody say subdue. Who through faith subdued kingdoms, routed righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edges of the sword, out of weaknesses were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Verse 30 says, And others had trials of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. Hallelujah. Uh, faith will make you do exploit that energy cannot make you do. And then you come to terms with the fact that these great men achieved greatness not because they prayed alone, not because God was powerful alone, not because the situations were simpler, but because they had faith. They believed. They believed that this vision that I want to achieve is a possibility if God is with me. They believe that if God said it, God would do it. They believe that they didn't need man as much as they needed their faith. They believe that if everybody turned against them and they are left all by themselves with faith, they will make it. So you begin to hear from the verses, the Bible says that who through faith subdued kingdoms, route righteousness, Obtain promises. In other words, what the Lord have said about them surely came to pass. In Genesis 26, we saw Isaac in the midst of the famine receiving the word of God. And when he has received the word of God, we saw in display faith. Now, in the midst of famine, in the midst of lack, in the midst of crisis, in a nation where everyone is running for their life, Isaac hears the still small voice. Remember, God did not come from heaven to stand before him. It was just our everyday way of hearing the voice of God. Isaac is doing his quiet time. He's reading his Bible. His pastor is preaching. And he hears a word in his spirit. Isaac, don't move to Egypt. Dwell in this land and I will bless you. Sometimes when we read the Bible, we, we make it look like these men were special men that God has to see them in a special room. No, no, no. They were normal people like you and I, and God didn't have to use a trumpet to announce the news to them. God just spoke through the revelation and the descending through scripture. They heard the voice of God just like you're hearing it right now. They had a prophecy just like you're hearing it right now. But because the word was the word of God, they took it with all their heart. They believed in it with all their heart. They never doubted. They never asked questions. But they decided that if God said this and my spirit has picked it, I believe it. And the Bible says that Isaac receives a word and God says that don't move down to Egypt. Now, you don't understand the intensity of this decision. Because God is saying in the midst of the famine, uh, you don't need a visa to Egypt. Because once upon a time, your father stayed in that nation and had favor on the land. And so you have the citizenship right to be able to go to Egypt free of charge. And this is the nation that is now swimming in a 
abundant they have enough food they have enough to spare and the bible says that the philistine land where isaac was dwelling was going through famine there was no rain there was no food there was no supply there was no job people were not getting jobs to do and isaac have decided to go to egypt where the land was lucrative there was enough job food was in supply it was in abundance and isaac said next month i'm going to travel and whilst isaac decide a voice from the lord came into his spirit and he could hear that god is speaking to me just like when we preach the word of god sometimes in the service you begin to feel like god is speaking to me but when you move out of the service and the realities of life begin to hit you you begin to lose your faith because your faith was not a great faith but in the case of isaac the bible says when he heard the voice of god like Thank you.